First of all, this is a video showing voltage using a Klein professional electrician's voltage meter. And we're trying to explain voltage and how it's related to aquarium pump, electrical appliance use. I have Eric here. He's a licensed electrician in the state of Tennessee. I have two different technical engineers from CJ, myself, and we're going to show you a little bit about this. Okay. First of all, Eric's going to take the voltmeter and he is going to zero it by getting, actually calibrate it by getting 120 volts. So we're at 118 volts. Uh, check on the plug, 118.9. Now with the unit just in the air, the air itself. Still have a voltmeter reading. This doesn't shock me. Nothing's happening. Everything's good. Now we're going to test water. Fresh water even. Not salt water, which is even higher. To ground. Yeah. Fresh water to ground. 0.8. There's not one electrical device plugged in on this tank. No lights. Nothing. Nothing's plugged in. In the next video, we will actually show some pumps. Hey, amazing. With the pump on, it actually lowered 0 0.6. <laughs> 0 0.06, it actually lowered from where it was originally. Now, where does this come in as a concern? The concern's always been, you know, if there's voltage in the water, is um, electricity actually being put in the water from the coils of the pump. And the answer could be yes. In this case, it's absolutely not. Here's when it could be. You buy a really cheap Chinese pump, or a pump that's not made properly, and it burns up, or it has bubbles in the coil. These could actually leak, get to the coils. Then you would actually have a very high voltage reading, and if you were grounded, you could be shocked. The fish, the corals, Nothing's going to feel that charge because they're not grounded. If they're grounded, just like birds on a wire aren't, aren't electrified, if they're grounded, then they would feel the shock and they would get harmed. So there's the water uh, with pump, no pump energized or electrified. It's 18.72. Now, how, how, how did we get that reading? This is an Eheim hobby pump we're testing just for sake of testing. And we know the pump is in perfect shape. Where is that pump? There it is. It's an Eheim hobby pump. Okay, we just put more cord in the water. See what that does. One more. So this is a hobby pump putting more uh, line in the water, 16 volt. What we just did so you know, is we actually checked um, using the power cord. And we'll show you, actually take the power cord off. When you take the power cord completely off and without the pump, let's see. You did it without the pump. Okay, so completely off without the power cord, a multi-plug, not plugged in, the water's reading 0.15, just plugging in the multi-plug, which is what you did, right? Just by plugging in the multi-plug, it's not even attached to the aquarium. We now get a reading of 0.62. This is showing that you can get a reading and you think you're testing your aquarium and it's not showing voltage in the tank. It's actually the plug itself, the meter itself, showing voltage from a multi-plug or how the wiring is done in the wall. Fire out of the aquarium, so there's going to be less wire in the tank. This is going to be true on any pump in the market. So as we take wire out, he's removing wire, the voltage will drop. True of any electrical device, 
because there's less resistance in the water on the market. Doesn't mean the pump's bad. Doesn't mean the Zeheim Hobby pump's bad. We wanted to test this to show it on a totally different pump. And now we're showing a brand new Danner Mag 9.5. Um, nothing turned on, just showing the water with nothing plugged in. It's 0 0.40. Now we plug it into the multi plug. It's not a quiet pump, that's for sure, but here you go. Uh, 28.4. Now we're gonna plug it in without the multi plug. Go straight into the wall. Okay. Straight into the wall. Mm -hmm. Pump straight into the wall. Sorry, I don't know. Sorry, that's not. Still have 29 volts. Yep. Still have 29 volts. Brand new pump. Again, the pump's not, the pump's not faulty. It wouldn't should not be returned. There's nothing wrong with it. Now to show just the wire that's in the tank. We we left the whole wire of the Danner in. We pull this whole wire out, which creates resistance. Still have voltage, but you see the voltage drops. Okay, so Synchra 5.0, it has more wattage. In theory, it should actually put more voltage on this type of meter than the Danner, but it's actually about the same. And listen, can you hear it running? No! Perfect! <laughs>